Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a folder and then copy files using SharePoint Designer Workflow. This was a question on my blog from uh, uh, a uh, visitor called Farida. And what I want to do is uh, first off, we have projects, we have project documents. And uh, we want to create a uh, folder in the project documents and then copy a template file into that folder. First off, we're going to need some columns. And I'm going to create a new column at the uh, document library and I'm going to call it destination. And then I'm going to go to project documents and create a similar column, also call that one destination. Great, now that's an order. I need that to control where the, the template file is going. Next off, I'm going to go into the SharePoint Designer and I'm going to start a new workflow. I'm going to start off backwards because we actually need two workflows. The first one is to move the file once it ends up in the project documents library. I'm going to choose a uh, SharePoint 2010 workflow. It doesn't really matter. And here I'm going to start off by declaring a condition saying that if the um, item value if the item um, destination column in the item is not empty run this and then I'm gonna update the item and that is the current item I'm going to update and I'm going to change the folder and uh, path name so I'm gonna set this one and then I'm gonna set it to the name of the um, the value that's in the the destination column click OK and OK and then I'm going to go to the, I know this is in Danish but it's properties and I'm going to say this is going to start whenever a new item is created so that's in order. Then the workflow is ready to receive the document where something is um, present in the destination column you can use this for all sorts of things, it doesn't really just have to be the, the template. And um, then I'm going, let me just start afresh. I am going to create a new workflow on the projects list. And this is where we actually create the folder. I have shown in, in another video how to create folders and subfolders. Um, I'm going to ch choose a uh, 2013 workflow. Again, this doesn't really matter. It should work just as fine whether you use a set of 2010 or 2013 workflows. For this demo, I've just uh, mixed it up a little. So I'm having two phases, one for creating the project folder and one for copying the document. And first off, I am going to create the item in the uh, project documents library just like before and I'm no not adding I'm modifying the path and name and setting that to the current item and the title of the current item great <coughs> and then I'm adding very important remember the content type ID needs to be a folder otherwise this won't work 
step one and then the transition I'm just gonna go to the next stage which is copy document I know I could probably do this in just one phase but just to be clear this is just to get a better view then I'm gonna go and update the template file and adding a I know the ID is one because I only have one file in this uh, project uh, library, uh, this uh, document library. And then I'm gonna add, update the destination column to current items title. Then I'm going to copy this document from the documents library where the ID is still just one and then I'm gonna copy that to the project documents that is gonna place that document in the root folder this is where the second workflow kicks in just for keeping all things uh, quite in order I'm just gonna remove the destination value again and transition stage let's just see here I'll uh, end the workflow and then let's go to properties and start the workflow whenever a new item is created and this is just going to get published great so this is gonna go very fast this is where I spend about five minutes uh, on testing and trying to figure out why it is this doesn't work the reason for this not working is that the secondary workflow the workflow that launches on the project documents needs to update the item with a folder and a file path and I'm going to figure that out in a minute right here go back into the move template workflow and then click on the current item path and file name and just go modifying right here see I left out that the file is actually called template so make forward slash write template.docx publish the workflow again then this should work just perfect great so let's create a new project let's just call that test project 1 because it's easy and let's give that a minute to kick in I'm just impatient and this is step one notice the file being in the root folder that's about to change in uh, just a minute so that's the first workflow that's run and now the second workflow is running and you see the root folder is gone and let's go into the test project folder take a look and there is the template file just ready to go if you like the video please drop me a comment or like share whatever uh, social thing you're into and uh, I hope to see you soon on my site getinthesky.com